Love Declaration to the Weihrauch HW35E. Base State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the shooting range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servus and thanks for dropping in. Okay, I have to admit that was a different intro. I uh, honestly admit it. But that's what it's going to be today. My declaration of love to the Weidoch HW35E. The HW35E was the first air gun I ever bought in my life, which was around eight years ago. It's the first gun I showed in a video and I just ordered a new one, which is still the same as my first one. Um, today I want to shoot at the Kyle Shoot Pro with it to simply entertain you while talking a bit about the gun. Ah, we can go a bit faster. Ah. Want it to be a challenge. Oh well, um, the Weidoch HW35E. What's the difference to the regular HW35? The E is for export, which doesn't mean it has a higher power or, or a stronger spring. Um, often export relates to a higher power. But uh, here we have 7.5 joules, like on the regular HW35. Customers in Germany can, of course, buy it in my shop Jabalo.de, where it is in stock while shooting this video, and you can get one of my all-time favorites for yourself. So, um, how did all this start? Around eight to nine years ago, my father-in-law, who is a hunter, said to me, hey, I've got so many air guns in my safe, including a a CZ Slavia 630, which I don't need anymore, so you can have it. Uh, he gave it to me and well, that's how it all somehow started. Pretty quickly I came to the conclusion CZ Slavia, well, definitely not a bad gun, but I wanted to choose something that looks good to me, uh, which is high quality and what brings me a lot of joy. So. Um, I talked to my colleague at work, who is also a hunter, and yeah, well, he said, if you want an air gun and it should have this hunting style look, then you have to take a look at the HW35. I then drove to Franconia in Würzburg and looked at a few different rifles. They also had the HW35E there, which I asked beforehand. Um, they had, they had both HW35 and when I saw this dark walnut stock of the HW35E I knew, okay, it's gonna be this model. I generally love wood and, and stone and, and all this nature stuff and I, yeah, I just think it's super beautiful. Um, my longtime followers know that already. I also bought a Weirauch uh, three to nine times for the scope with the gun because yeah the sales rep recommended it and that was my first setup and that was also my first video almost exactly eight years ago in uh, in august 2015 i think yeah august 2015 was the first video i recorded and yeah where i reviewed the gun Today it's a bit cringe-worthy, but yeah, that's uh, how I started. And uh, so I just reviewed the HW35E. Whoop, Mr. Fox. Uh, and I talked about what I'm planning to do with the gun. Um, yeah, that it would blow up the way it did and that it would be my job someday was completely out of the picture back then. I Yeah, I could never have dreamed about it. Next, I... Let me think about it. Next, 
I bought a Weidoch HW30S. Yeah, and since I didn't have a lot of money, and to me, well, same as to you probably, the, the guns were ex expensive, um, I sold the HW35 for the HW30S. I am not mad that I bought the HW30S, but I am still sad, very sad I had to sell the HW35E. Mine had a beautiful walnut stock with, yeah, kind of tiger, tiger stripes. Uh, and it, it basically was a unique piece. And yeah, today I'm sad. And it would hurt less if I knew I sold it to someone who, who cherished it. But, but uh, from what I found out, he, he did all kinds of stuff to the gun. And uh, after a short time, it was broken. He then called me and asked why I sold him such a gun. Yeah, no clue what he did to it and how you even managed to break an HW35. You, you really have to try hard. These things are being built for more than 70 years now. And I myself own one from 1950, where, which is in great condition. Yeah, that really hurt me back then. And that's why I always regret selling my first air gun. If you are going to buy one and you fall for the hobby and buy however many more, keep your first gun. You shouldn't give it away. Nope, that's a miss. I just realized I need to rub the silhouettes with Vaseline again so the pellets fall off. They start sticking to them. Just forgot. She should do it every three months or so. And yeah, then they glide off easily. Well, um, what else is there to say about the HW35E? Here in Germany, 7.5 Joule. Internationally, there is a 16 Joule version. We are sending tuning kits with 7.5 Joule to optimize the shooting feeling, which is uh, super high level because you can see uh, straight out of the box. Yeah, you, you can shoot very well with it and hunt steel targets. You also have the option to upgrade the extremely well matched trigger with an air show tuning trigger. And then you can easily shoot competitions with it. I always say the first gun is crucial. Do you fall for the hobby or not? If you, if you buy the first thing you see and it doesn't work right, it's not precise, yeah, odds are you will give up the hobby again, uh, which would really be a shame. So better save for another month and buy better quality. And I'd say it's almost a hundred percent sure that you will stick with it. You don't need to buy a super expensive combination of gun and scope, especially shooting iron sights is super fun with these Weidauch guns. I also have a Weidauch HW30. I think some of you might know it. I put a Davis built gun stock from England uh, on it. The stock was X times as expensive as the gun, but the gun is so good that it's worth uh, to have a special stock made for it and yeah then it's a gun for life and I will hand it down uh, to my junior he's not old enough yet to shoot with me but of course it's my wish and dream that he will have the same hobby as I do uh, that we can shoot and visit exhibitions and competitions together yeah that that would be super super nice in any case he'll get my beautiful HW30 at some point <laughs> And you can see, even while talking, it is possible to shoot these targets uh, over almost 36 feet distance again and again. It's easy to, to learn this gun. It's of course weird if it is the first time you shoot a spring piston, if you shot PCP or haven't shot at all before. Um, if you have trouble or don't know how to hold the gun or anything for German speakers, search uh, Prellschlag kontrollieren on YouTube and uh, click on my video should be far up so yeah um, i made a guide 
which I think has more than 50,000 views uh, on how to shoot a spring piston and be successful in terms of precision. What's also super important is uh, if you want to conserve your gun, uh, is uh, caring for it. Uh, if you are not the type for doing this, better buy a synthetic stock. The wooden ones just need to be oiled two, three times a year. So uh, the wood does not get gray and, and it, so it doesn't crack. It's, uh, yeah, it's really beautiful when the color stays strong. Um, also, the bronze is also very important. Uh, after shooting, there'll be lots of fingerprints on it. Yeah, just uh, rub it down after shooting and use corrosion protection from time to time so it won't rust when you uh, put it in the closet for a while. No, that's a miss. Oh well, did you shoot white or spring piston before? Or a really mean question. For you, which is the most beautiful spring piston you know of? For me, this one is very, very, very far in the top list. I can tell you that. Well, I need to concentrate again. So, how is it with you? Which gun is your favorite? I would be very happy if you comment under my video. What's your favorite gun? Okay, from now on. Did I just adjust something? No, looking fine. Just need to concentrate some more so I hit something. So yeah, I'm really curious what you think. What's what's the brand? What's the model? Yeah, that's really interesting to me. And uh, with the whole PCP hype, there also came a lot of beautiful guns. But I sh think you should have one spring piston in your closet. It's a, a different way of shooting. Sure, it's harder to shoot precisely. It's easier with the PCP. But it doesn't always need to be hole in hole. Sometimes it is the challenge that is exciting. And it motivates you to go shooting again. If you have a model as beautiful as the HW35, it may happen that you just grab it on a Sunday to clean it. Just because it's fun to enjoy the, the engineering and and just to conserve this beautiful gun over yeah years and, and, and decades. And miss the fox again. You see, this really is just a love letter to the gun today. No technical specs, if you want to know it. It's 3.8 kilogram. Um, it, it has all been said in my review before. But I made a survey a while ago. If you want to see some shooting videos with some entertainment and not just the reviews. Man. And yeah, you were very positive about this. So that's why you're seeing this video. Okay, one more hit. Visit diabolo.de slash yen and grab your Vido HW35E in Germany. Just hold it in your hands and you will be as excited as I am. Sure of it. I'm sure next week we have a review again with hard facts and numbers. Today it's just my love declaration to the HW35E. Thanks a lot. And if you have any questions, send me an email at ergandi at yabolo.de and I will get back to you. Thanks a lot and see you next week. Ciao, servus, Herr Gandhi.